today I want to share a couple of new steps that we're taking right now and in, re in, in recent weeks. We are seeing higher than average positive rates in the Latino community. Latino residents make up 20% of the population here in the city of Boston, but they are 28% of our city's overall COVID cases, and that inequity has grown during the course of the pandemic. So this week, we're investing more, over $400,000 into a community plan to address the inequities that these numbers represent. The Boston Resiliency Fund is providing grants support to the Greater Boston Latino Network, as well as the East Boston Health Center, as well as Whittier Street Health Center in Roxbury, and we're working to expand the partnership with the Brookside Health Center in Jamaica Plain next week. Together, they will expand the outreach and testing related to supports of the Boston Latinx communities. That's, that means getting testing to where it's needed, reaching the families and individuals who face barriers, and provide them with not only testing, but the supports they need to access treatment and stay healthy. The best way to do this work is through grassroots organizations that have long-standing, authentic relationships in the communities that they're working with every single day. That's been the core strategy of the Residency Fund and the Health Inequities Task Force, and that's, that's who the Greater Boston Latino Network is. There are high-impact community organizations, including EBA, based in the South End, the Hyde Square Task Force, based in Jamaica Plain, the East Boston Ecumenical Community Council, and others. At the same time, community health centers have been our essential partner in testing access. Now I'm going to ask, invite a member of the task force to say more about the grants and the testing access plan. Reverend Sam Acevedo is the associate pastor of the Lion of Judah congregation in Roxbury. He is the founder and executive director of the Boston Higher Education Resource Center and a member of the organization of the Greater Boston Latino Network. And I'm honored to have him serve on not only our task force, but on so many other important areas here in the city of Boston. Reverend Acevedo. Thank you, Mayor Walsh. Honored to be here on this beautiful July afternoon. Virtually since its launch, the Latino members of Boston's Health and Equities Task Force have noted that the data being captured by the state and city did not match what we were seeing firsthand with the Latino families that we work with. Many families reported having symptoms of COVID-19 but were afraid to get tested because of their status and many were essential workers whose families relied on that paycheck for survival. Even before this crisis, Massachusetts was already the number one state for Latino income inequities. The pandemic has only proven to increase disparities among socially and economically challenged communities. For many families who do not speak English, it could be bewildering to navigate COVID-19. Some don't have health insurance or a dedicated health care provider. Recent data is beginning to demonstrate what we already knew on the ground. Latino COVID-19 cases, unfortunately, are on the rise in Boston, and especially for the 21 to 39 age group. The Greater Boston Latino Network is made up of nine Latino-led community-based organizations whose goal is to amplify Latino voices and impact and visibility in the greater Boston region. These well-trusted groups in the community serve a wide range of needs, and uh, just as in previous emergencies, we have pivoted to provide support. Even amid this crisis, we continue to deliver our usual programming from working with the elderly to running after school academic enrichment programs for youth. But we're now also delivering food working with families to file unemployment, distributing direct cash assistance, and connecting families with a multitude of services. With these funds that the mayor just announced, GBLN will continue to provide the expanded resources that have been the result of this pandemic. We will also work with the East Boston Neighborhood Health Centers and the Whittier Street Health Center to strengthen the work that they're doing with the, com uh, the Latino community in efforts to spread accountability and safe practices. We'll be running a campaign to reach the population from the 29 to 39 age group through outreach with prevention messages and distributing masks. We will also embark on a, by beginning today, 
on the bilingual campaign to promote mask wearing among the Latino community.